Helion believes commercial fusion power isn't a fundamental physical problem, but an engineering problem that will be solved by building, testing, and iterating fusion systems. Some of the most important things when we're building these fusion systems, these fusion fuels over 100 million degrees, is the diagnostics. How are you measuring what you're actually creating? And so we inject um, an uh, infrared laser into here. Um, and as a, just like an index of refraction, just like you put a straw in water and it bends the light as it passes through the water, so you see a straw kind of bend. Same thing happens in a, in a fusion plasma where the laser passes through and it bends in the plasma. And then we collect it. And by measuring the offset and by measuring the bend, we can measure how many particles there, it passed through in the process. We also want to directly measure the fusion products themselves. And so we have neutron detectors that measure any neutrons that are made. We have alpha particle detectors that directly measure the fusion particles, the charged particles that come off the fusion reaction. Gillian expects that Polaris will demonstrate the production of net electricity by 2024. But in the realm of cutting-edge fusion, demonstration does not equate to viability. So what's Helion's plan for achieving commercial fusion power? I would agree that most approaches to fusion, that even though we know the physics and engineering well enough to build systems that can make net energy, they may not be commercially viable. And so you need to answer that every time you're building these systems is what does that end product look like? Can you mass produce this? Can you drive down cost? Can you get it to the market cost effectively? To accomplish this, Elon approaches production in a way that's reminiscent of Elon Musk's strategy for Tesla. Many experimental approaches to fusion necessitate large scale and high capital costs. And even though fusion scales really well, so as you go up in radius of the fusion system, you get tremendously more energy out. That's great, and, and the cost goes down, but the commercial practicality also goes down. So what we Im imagine is gigafactories of fusion systems, small scale, um, where we can mass produce these at low cost. And, and so rather than building big, giant, one-off, boutique fusion power plants, you're actually building power plants or a collection of small generators. They come together, and that enables you to actually build fusion systems commercially practical. So how much will fusion power cost for you, the customer? Helion estimates that their fusion power will be one of the cheapest sources of electricity, with a cost of electricity production projected to be one cent per kilowatt hour, or $10 per megawatt hour. If Helion is successful, how will fusion power fit into the global energy mix? The need for clean baseload electricity is huge. And we at Helion don't think fusion replaces renewable energy. It's in addition. Energy production, primarily the burning of fossil fuels, is responsible for most of global greenhouse gas emissions. Initially, fusion power can serve as a zero carbon alternative to fill electricity production gaps in markets that don't have high penetration of renewables, like developing countries. In areas that already have lots of solar, wind, hydro, or geothermal energy, fusion can become the on all the time industrial base load source replacing fossil fuels and even nuclear fission power. While modern nuclear power plants are the most reliable zero-carbon energy source on the grid today, fusion power has many prospective benefits over fission. For one, there's lower potential for catastrophic accidents. Because fusion requires precise conditions that are difficult enough to create intentionally, fusion devices can't melt down like a fission reactor. Fusion uses minute amounts of fuel at any given time, and you can immediately stop the reaction by cutting off the fuel supply. Additionally, fusion creates far less radioactive waste than fission. Spent uranium fuel rods are highly damaging biologically and remain radioactive for thousands of years, requiring complex disposal and storage methods. The radioactive waste products of fusion consist mainly of irradiated components. They're generally less dangerous and the radioactivity dissipates within 100 years. A safe, low-cost, zero-carbon energy source like fusion can enable exciting possibilities for the future. So what would a world with commercial fusion- Throughout the world, we see challenges in water. So all of a sudden desalination plants become really cost effective and possible to solve some water challenges. Fusion power can also help ease the transition to electric transportation. It's projected that nearly half of all cars will be battery electric vehicles by 2035. Additionally, the deployment of small modular reactors can allow for flexible placement of power where it's needed most, such as isolated areas or unique industrial applications, like for example, Tesla's Gigafactory. It's often said fusion power is 30 years away and always will be. Will fusion power be part of our electric future? If we compare the progress of fusion power to computers, a powerful trend emerges. Moore's law observes that the number of transistors in a circuit doubles every two years, and we've all seen the rapid advancement of computing power in the last half century. For nuclear fusion, the triple product serves as the key figure of merit, and it's growing at a similar rate to computing power. It appears probable someone will demonstrate net electricity from fusion this decade, and Helion is a promising contender. 
But this is just the start. Turning fusion power into a competitive, cost-effective, real-world technology is going to be a long road. Despite the challenges, harnessing the power of the stars and offering mankind unlimited clean energy is a goal worth striving for. The work that goes into nuclear fusion power draws on all the branches of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. If you'd like to better understand some of the concepts we presented in this video, it's important to first build your tree of scientific foundations. Brilliant does a great job of taking complicated science and breaking it down into bite-sized pieces with fun and challenging interactive explorations. Master concepts, learn the fundamental principles, and develop your intuition so you can truly understand these breakthrough technologies. I've taken brilliant courses on electricity and magnetism and solar energy, and was impressed with how well they structure their lessons with clever analogies, examples, and quizzes to test your knowledge. Brilliant offers a wide range of other content and topics from mathematical fundamentals to quantitative finance, from scientific thinking to special relativity, from programming with Python to machine learning. Go to brilliant.org slash electric future and sign up for free. And also, the first 200 people to go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Electric Future presents optimistic but realistic coverage of breakthrough sustainable energy technology. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. You may be interested in watching one of these videos next. Thanks for watching, and let the volts be with you.